everybody, it is 9am, my name is Sky. And my name is Ramon. And this is Cereal Box, the tastiest breakfast show around. To brighten up your morning, this is what you have to look forward to. For starters, we have a news update for you, and we're getting into the nitty and gritty for your favourite celebs. Following on from that, we have a scrumptious family-sized art discussion for you all to enjoy. As well as an exciting sports challenge for all of you to get involved in at home. And to end the show, we have a live performance from an upcoming artist. Carrie Sorbonne will be performing her latest single, Too Tired to Sleep. Oh, that's wicked. It's Monday, the 7th of December, 9.02, and we have the updates for you. So, on Sunday morning, I'm sure you're all aware, the beloved show, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, returned to our screens, and it did not disappoint. We were introduced to this year's contestants, including Jordan North, who I heard is scared of absolutely everything. <laughs> Listen to this, Ramel. He said he will willingly walk up 17 flights of stairs because wow. he's afraid of lifts. <laughs> and if Sunday night proves anything, is that he is definitely not lying, as we all saw how he reacted to having to go down that cliff. I've always wondered how these celebrities get ready for the show, you know. Do they relax before practising their survival skills? Well, I don't know about the rest of them, but I'm pretty sure Shane Ritchie took his family on a camping trip and resulted in him having a panic attack. Oh, really? This isn't the show for him? Definitely not. You've got to have Bear grill survival skills for a show like that. And I don't think any of our celebs have those this year. Now time for the weather. It's going to be a bit cloudy on Monday through to Wednesday and a slight chance of rain on Thursday. Then on Friday, expect sleet and on Saturday, and Sunday, it should be a bit cloudy. Now, for making things to decorating and being creative in all ways, up next we have two innovative artists, Daniel and Natasha. Let's watch as they use their creative skills in two different ways. Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Natasha. And today we're going to be showing you how to create art using different types of mediums. I'm going to be drawing using digital media such as an iPad and a stylus. And I'm going to be creating art using paint brushes and paint. So today both of us will be drawing the same image so we can compare our different lifestyles. This image is done by a lady named Elena Rosato who is a watercolour artist. With my art style I like to use traditional mediums such as watercolour, acrylics, pens and pencils. I'm using a watercolour today as it gives the best result for what I'm doing. Watercolours are easy to blend and don't leave harsh edges. When blending with different colours, you must make sure that the paint is still wet so you can get a seamless blend. You can also layer them to make them more opaque or water them down to give them a transparent look. When I paint with watercolours, I make sure to put down the lighter colours first as it's harder to layer lighter with darker colours. Some people like to paint each side together, so I and the other eye, but I prefer to paint each section at a time. When I'm painting, I try and paint most realistic to my reference photo, as I prefer the realistic looks. Some of the things I like about watercolours is that it's very easy to go back and add details to my pieces. As well as this, I can erase some of the mistakes by blending out the paint with water. Some of the downfalls with watercolours are that they take a while to dry depending on how much water you have used. This can also cause the paper to wear and become damaged. Overall, I'd say using watercolours are a very good starting point for someone wanting to try out new traditional mediums for the artwork, as they aren't hard to use and you can use them at different ranges depending on people's art ability. Each art style is different and has their own good and bad points. Natasha likes to create art using different forms of media such as an iPad and stylus. With additional forms of art, you have a wide range of materials to choose from such as airbrushes, calligraphy pens to textured paper. Natasha uses watercolour brushes to get the same effect Elena would have got. With digital art, it's a lot easier to blend and mix colours without having to make sure that the paint slash paper are still wet. You can also choose to add different layers which let you isolate everything from being touched. Erasing as well as adding details are a lot easier with the option to zoom which allows for more precision and control. You can enhance the brush sizes so you cover large areas quickly. Natasha has placed a sketched out guide that she's following through her piece which makes it a lot easier to stick to original of painting without going entirely freehand. Overall, digital art is very good for those who want to take the artwork a step further with detail to bring it alive.
Wasn't that amazing? Such different ways to be creative. This year has certainly been an unusual one, but I've been using my time in lockdown to learn new skills and get a lot more crafty and creative. With the festive season right around the corner, I have a fab way for you to get creative at home and even get the kids involved. If you're anything like me and can't use a paintbrush to save your life, I have the perfect little hack for you and your family this Christmas. All you need is a bauble, a sponge, some temporary tattoos and some water. So, to start off, what you're going to do is grab one of your temporary tattoos. So, I'm going to choose this Christmas tree here and place it on the bauble like so. If you just dip your sponge into the water and dab the back of the tattoo like that, just so it transfers over. It should take around 30 seconds, but just keep checking. It could be a bit quicker. As I said, this is great for with the kids as there's really minimal mess and not much you have to remember to do. There we go, that was nice and quick. If you peel the cardboard off the back, the tattoo will be transferred like so. If you feel like it's not gonna stay very well, you can always grab a bit of PVA glue and give that a coat, or clear nail varnish if you've got that line around the house, that works great too. As I said, all the other things are optional, so I've got a bit of fake snow here, some beads, some glitter glue, really to get creative. So I'm going to get creative and do that now, Ramel. Thanks, Sky. And we'll get back to you in just a minute. No pressure. So we all remember the exercise routine couch to 5K that was happening during the lockdown, making challenges with your friends and family. A massive hit. Well, Nakib's got something here for us, a little challenge. So let's check it out. Hello guys and welcome to my sports challenge. I'm here with Ramel. Back again. Back to kill the kick-ups. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Our challenge today is going to be a kick-up challenge. We're going to see who's there at doing kick-ups. How many you reckon you think you're going to do? 20. You think you're going to do 20. Uh, I think I'm going to do about 15. Mm. 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 I'm not that good at kick-ups, I'll be honest with you, but I'm going to do, do my best for you guys. So let's get to it. Okay, so now, first we're going to stretch our legs. Um, I'll show you the right leg more first. Stretch our legs. Um, Don't worry about the boot. <laughs> Get that. And now we're going to touch our toes. It's important that we stretch it so it improves the amount of kick up to do. And so it loses the muscle, so it reduces the likelihood of injury. Obviously, jog and spot me. <laughs> Target the blood circling around the body. Now we're going to get to the challenge. So up first, it's going to be Ramel doing his challenge. I'm going to count in my head for him. So, let's get to it. Whenever you're ready, Ramel. Show us what you got. How many was that? 12? 16. <laughs> that was 12, bro. How was it 12? 15. I'll go again. I'll do it again. Uh, I got 15 kickups. And I'm sorry, but it's my turn now. We did that warm up, but I thought you were doing that after. Okay. Get a cap. How many I did? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's not bad. Fifteen. You beat me by one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you beat number one. I, I personally think I'd be better than that. I'll tell you, I could be better than that as well, but that's the end of our show today. So I'm if, I'm if you want to increase your magic of you need stability, you will need confidence and you need to have balance. Obviously, what I did, I didn't have much balance because I'm using your one leg. I look, I'll probably look like a statue just doing kick ups. And Romel, uh, Romel is Romel. It's yeah. not that good. It's just I'm good. average, average. How many did I do? So next time, if I uh, want to do, I'm gonna do more control. I'm gonna, do more, I'm gonna have more stability. I don't have that balance. And that's gonna increase the magic that I'm gonna do. That's that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Say bye, Ramel. Bye, guys. Stay bye. in school. <laughs> bye, guys. Definitely stay in school. Looks like Naki will keep.
looks like Naki will need to keep practicing his kick ups. And if you guys want to get involved, send your clips to our Twitter at SerialBots and we'll be able to put your clips up on here next week. Now, speaking of sports, I've got the sports updates for you. UEFA Nations League football scores and a very exciting tennis game between the world's greatest players. But first, the basketball news. The LA Lakers on beating the Miami Heat in a seven game series, winning 4-2, with the Lakers scoring 106 points and Miami Heat only scoring 93 in the final game. Shout out to the Lakers on that one. Into the Nations League scores. I've got four jam-packed thriller games for you guys with crazy goals and heartbreaking scorelines. Portugal versus France, a beautiful game between both sides. France taking the win, winning 1-0 with a beautiful strike by Kante, leaving Portugal having to play another game to progress into the tournament. <clears throat> Sweden versus Croatia, a very tight game between both sides, back and forth, but Sweden grabbing a late winner, lead, making the score 2-1. Germany versus Croatia, I mean Ukraine, sorry. <laughs> Germany cruising through with an easy win, scoring three goals against Ukraine, leaving the game to end in a 3-1 victory to Germany. Switzerland versus Spain, a very tight game between both sides. Captain Sergio Ramos missing two penalties. Could have helped Spain win, but sadly they drew. Switzerland had a beautiful chance at the end, but missed, ending in a 1-1 draw. On to other news. For my tennis fans out there, don't think I've forgotten about you guys. I've got your tennis news right here. The French Open between the best players in the world. Nadal versus Djokovic. A beautiful game between both sides. Nadal managing to sweep his opponent in a three game series. A very tight game between both sides, but only could want come out victorious. A very big well done to both sides for reaching the finals and I'd love to see them reach there again. That's all we have time for. That's the sports wrap up. So Sky, how's it going for your 10 minute craft? I think this looks brilliant. I am so proud of myself. Look how cute that is, guys. I wrote cereal box on the front of that one. I put three tattoos on to bulk it out a bit. I think that will look lovely on our Christmas tree over there. That's pretty amazing for a 10 minute craft. It's good, isn't so, it? Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, Sky, do you want to put it on the tree and then come yeah, and join me on the hang seats? That right up. I think there. Pride of place. Look at that beauty. Beautiful. That looks lovely. <laughs> So, Sky, you're a quite illustrated young lady. Tell me how many I tattoos you am have. I am, actually. I think we're at 18 now. Wow. All done by the same artist. That's crazy. I'll get my arm out here. This is what I like to call my doodle arm. Ooh. It's a bit all over the place, but it's a work in progress. We will get there. Mm-hmm. So, I can see you've got a Barbie tattoo. Do you want to explain <laughs> I have. why you got it? This was... Well, I was obsessed with Barbies growing up. Mm -hmm. I still am now. I like it a lot. And oh. always said I was going to have Barbie across the centre of my back. Okay. That would have been a bit much, so I toned it down, mm -hmm. little homage to Barbie here, in yeah. pink to make it pop. Oh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. And yeah. I can see you've got a key. I have, that was quite a painful tattoo. <sighs> it did swell up quite a bit, that one. Not looking forward to having that done over. Oh. Um, it's quite a funny story behind that one, actually. I was actually a key worker <laughs> during coronavirus, global pandemic, all okay. that jazz. Yeah. So got that there. As a little joke, but a little memory as well. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And I can see you've got the year 2000 on there. I have. That is just the year I was born. Okay, Quite simple. Okay. I've got my lucky number on there, a couple of star sign yeah. references. And yeah. I can, I can see you've got a little, uh, is that origami or something? That is uh, my star sign constellation. Oh, okay. So that is actually Virgo. Okay, okay. For the month I was born, yeah. So which one hurt the most? I would say this, these ones here on the okay, inside of okay. my arm. I don't yeah. know if it's, it's a squidgy area, but uh -huh. them ones bruise the most, to be honest. But it's getting there. Yeah. It'll be full eventually. And I can see you've got something on your leg. <laughs> oh, show the camera? I have, funny you mention that. People always laugh at this one. This is actually an elephant's bum <laughs> right here. It was drew by my granddad, um, and he and my mother also have this tattooed. So it's literally a little doodle done by Derek that we've all had. Aww. We've all had done. If you asked him to draw anything growing up, yeah. this was what you got. OK, so would you care to get any more tattoos or in the future? Oh, I'm definitely looking to fill okay. the rest. It's just deciding what and when. And they're not cheap, are they? They're quite expensive to get done. Would you have mm. any? No, I don't have any tattoos. I'm clean. Would what? you in future? Yeah, probably, 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 yeah. probably. I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. Good. That's crazy, that's crazy. So, yeah. um, what else is there? You see the two hands? What's yes, that, that the is the creation of Adam. So oh. that is a painting by Michelangelo. Oh. 
And it is, you'll find that in the Vatican City, oh, at the top yeah. of the Sistine Chapel. That is on my bucket list to go and visit. I thought, I can't have the tattoo on my arm and not visit it at some point in the future. Okay, so that okay. is a must do for me. All right, all right. That's but beautiful. yeah, it's getting there. I, I do like, like it. it. Sometimes I get a bit embarrassed. Don't know what it'll look like when I'm older. Mm -hmm. But for now, I don't mind it. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> Well, Sky, I'm guessing that's all we have time for. I think it is, but we're not going to leave you with nothing. This is a right groovy Monday morning, isn't it? Yeah. So we have a live performance from Caris Auburn, who is a melodic and soulful singer-songwriter and self-port producer from Wolverhampton, so not too far from here. Her influences range from 80s funk and soul to 90s R&B. OK. And we all hope you enjoy your morning, afternoon and evening. And we'll see you guys 9 a.m. sharp. Tomorrow morning. Yep. <laughs> see you then. Bye. But I'm too tired to die.